So this weekend so far I've kind of got sidetracked uh, among other things but I wanted to go back to my ocean shader. I had this idea of mixing two types of just duplicate the surface. So instead of trying to get one surface to get the depth to work really well and then another uh, and, and the reflective surface, I just decided to make it two. So I have the surface which I'm using dithered which uh, stylistically, it's definitely a stylistic choice. Lucky I get to make those choices. Uh, and then we have just the the depth uh, material. So after I broke them apart, I kind of liked what I was getting initially, and then I got really into the idea of let's just go finally do the Gershner waves. Uh, so I did go ahead and make that setup. And this is setup is based on this video, which I'll link to. Uh, very helpful. It takes a lot of time to explain things. I appreciate uh, appreciate that. Um, then of course you also want to reference. Uh, even when these equations, I feel like look overwhelming. Like oh, what is that? Q with the little i, or and there's like sigma or lambda or e. I I don't even know, but the idea is that when you uh, look through this, you can see like you do know what x is, and you understand how you built this equation, uh, and you'll you it does help because like I basically went on my own and went my own direction instead of following along with that video, but that video helped me understand the core concepts. So I went with uh, making a similar setup, but he basically breaks it down to really uh, in a more complex way. So I went with a simpler setup in that I still kept the uh, the two uh, two pi over the wavelength it it doesn't matter I could have just done a multiplication there but I was like I'll leave it I don't really understand why it needs to be over pi and so it's just a single value uh, so the thing that I, I kind of simplified down is I just used just use the power equation um, on all of my I just went in and put um, just a power instead of like it gets really complicated in these equations and you can just simplify it down and just have a power it's is it as good uh, well I think so I think that the um, keeping it simple and keeping this all where you understand what's going on is so important uh, I hate when you just copy something and you don't know what's going on like you have to build it and like understand so that's why I would recommend that video he definitely walks through it nice and slow um, and so then I built in just two different materials with two different purposes so I what I liked is like if I want just a depth material then that's you can just focus on that and not try to get like all the other things in there in like in one super material so it's it's definitely not perfect. My game is top down, so like if you had to get down to this level, like it doesn't. I'm not sure how well it would hold up. It's kind of weird. I didn't design it for that. Uh, you know, the dithering definitely bothers me in that it ha feels very static. It's like almost like you see a remnant of what was there. So there's definitely some things to uh, tweak on, um, but. Uh, I also really have this. I, I really want to make like a, a cool wind material that does better than this. But to uh, just make when you do see underwater in calmer seas. Actually, I can just demonstrate that really quick. Calmer sea depth. Well, we can do it with uh, no that this one. We can go. Let's just let's go. Cut everything in half height. Uh, I've got to do it. The annoying thing is I have to do everything twice because I have because I have two instances. Um, but the idea is that I could tweak it and basically get like some commerces and just tweak, have some things where I could you could like see it's more like certain areas you'd be like it's a pond or it's not a pond. But uh, I wouldn't use this material for that exactly. But basically set it up so that um, it's more about seeing the interesting things underwater uh, and other times it's more about um, just having the perilous water or just good-looking water so 
anyway, it's uh, just kind of, I think of do it working on this almost like a hobby. Like next, I really want to get those waves having like some particles. Really want to see some crashing stuff going on on the edge here, but I'll probably have to go back to like actual gameplay stuff. This is all like fun work. So now back to the real stuff. I just wanted to add that like definitely make the like all this plant definitely needs to move with these waves have the same frequency of back and forth so it feels like that's really going to sell this like I think right now it it almost hurts it by not moving in the same frequency so uh, that's it's definitely going to be in the plans but I also want to show like a bit full, more full screen view of the of the ocean.